In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to make this Blender file that has three scenes. A title scene, an animation scene, and a credits scene. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to render the three scenes and how to use the video editor to join the three clips together. Clicking the Scene Browse button, I'm going to go back to Scene 1. I'm going to click the Render button in the Properties window. Scrolling down, in a previous tutorial, I set the file format to MPEG. I set the video format to XVID and the audio format to MP3. I'm not going to change those. I also set up the folder where the output would be saved. I'm not going to change that but I'm going to change the root name of the file to scene1-enter. Scrolling up, click the animation button to start rendering. When scene1 has finished rendering, change the scene to scene2. Change the root name to scene2. into dash and enter and start that rendering. When scene 2 is finished rendering, change the scene to scene 3. Change the root name of the file name to scene 3. Dash and enter and scroll up and start the rendering. When the third scene has finished rendering, in the file menu, do new. Change the layout to video editing. Go to the add menu, add movie. Go to the folder that you set for the output to your rendering. Select scene one and add movie strip. In the strip menu, Snap Strips. In the Add menu, Add Movie. Select Scene 2 and Add Movie Strip. The blue bar is the video from Scene 2 and I'm going to drag that so it overlaps the video from Scene 1. When I click, it will snap into place. The audio from Scene 2 is overlapping Scene 1, so I'm going to move Scene 1 up drag scene 2's audio up two channels, drag scene 1's audio back to where it was, drag scene 2 audio so it overlaps, click and that will snap into place. Hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button to pan. In the add menu add movie and select scene 3. Drag the video down so it overlaps and click, so it snaps into place. Move the audio and click, so that snaps into place. Sometimes the audio strips are not exactly the same length as the video strips. What is important is that the audio and video strips start at exactly the same point for them to be synchronized. The end frame at the moment is frame 250. The title scene is 200 frames long, the animation 100, the credits 200, so it should end at frame 500. If I pan, shift and drag with the middle mouse button, we see that a couple of frames are overlapping at the end. If I left click and press play, by the time we get to the end, the music has faded and everything has scrolled off, so I'm not going to worry too much about those end frames. We're now ready to render the final movie. Change the layout to default, make the properties window wider, scroll down in the render properties and change the file format to MPEG, open up the encoding panel, scroll down, change the video codec to XVID, 
change the audio codec to MP3. Click on the folder icon to change the output folder to where you want to save your rendered movie. And change the root file name to final. And enter. Scrolling up, I'm going to set the resolution for the final movie. I'm going to set it to be 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall, full frame, and click the animation button to start the rendering. Because I kept the video file format the same and the audio file format the same, the rendering is much quicker. It doesn't have to re-render each frame. When the rendering finishes, the output folder, you should see the final movie. And when you play it, you should see scene one, followed by scene two, followed by scene three. That's the end of the tutorial. All the files you need to make the final movie can be downloaded from my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.